Hello, I'm Judy Vitale, your astrologer with ReadTheStars.com, here with your weekly horoscopes at work from May 25th through 31st. Can you believe we're finishing May already? What a great year it's been so far, right? Well, this week's going to be a little bit easier on us. I think that the theme of the week, if I had to choose one, and I do because I wanted to let you get an idea of what's going on, is to be aware of illusion and to go with it when it's good for you and to stay away from it when it might not be so great for you. It all comes from the planet Neptune, which is going to be quite active this week, as you'll hear as I go through our day-to-day -day forecast. Monday, Memorial Day. Hey, Moon and Virgo. Those barbecues are going to be organized. Those shish kebabs are going to be neat. People are going to be paying attention to details. And uh, it's a good day for doing that kind of thing. But put a little bit of work into having fun and also remembering why it is that we have this holiday and the many, many generous people who have given their lives for what we have in this country. I think it's just such a special holiday for that reason. Um, we're also going to have Venus square Uranus on Monday, so that could be kind of romantic. So sparks will be flying. And then on Tuesday, the moon in Virgo continues as we go back to work. But the moon starts off the day, like right around midnight Eastern time, with an opposition to Neptune. So we're very, very hopeful about whatever it is that happened over this past weekend, which has been pretty great so far for me. Um, hope so for you, too. But um, with the moon opposite Neptune, we do need to be aware that things are not always the way that they seem. And this could be in a good way as well as a not so good way. So just, but just keep it in mind. On Wednesday, we're going to have a void of course moon all day. And remember, Mercury is still retrograde. When you have the void of course moon and Mercury retrograde, it's really hard to follow through with your plans. So just be patient with everybody. Because it's going to be especially frustrating, Mercury is going to make a conjunction with Mars uh, first thing in the morning, Eastern Time, 6.37 a.m. And I think when that happens, ugh, there's just going to be like this um, desire to assert one's will. Uh, you will experience it within yourself and possibly with people around you. But, you know, it's going to be really hard. People are going to feel very thwarted on Wednesday, I think. Thursday is an entirely different story. The moon will go into Libra 5.42 p.m. on Wednesday evening Eastern Time. And then on Thursday, that lovely Libra moon will make a um, lovely configuration with the sun and Mercury and Mars. So that's going to be beautiful. Uh, it's going to be like a, a very mentally satisfying day Thursday. So um, make sure that you take advantage of it. Friday, the moon in Libra continues. That means that people will be looking at things from both sides with more ease than usual. And it also means that they'll be a little sweeter, friendlier, and more attuned to the nice things in life and, and beauty and balance and all that great stuff. And then at 4.20 p.m., boop, void of course moon. So Friday night's plans might be a little bit different than the way they were uh, conceived. Let's just say it that way. The moon will go into very intense um, kind of area of the zodiac where the sign of Scorpio resides at 5.34 a.m. on Saturday. The sun will make a conjunction with Mercury. Expect to get and maybe to give some very intense messages on Saturday, okay? It'll be really cool. And then on Sunday, we have Neptune again figuring very prominently in the sky with uh, the moon in a trine to Neptune and the sun in a square to Neptune, we are definitely going to be feeling this idea of not just deception, but also artistic endeavors and, most important, spirituality. And there are some really great things going on this week in Pittsburgh. I'll be at Journeys of Life this week on Friday from 1 to 5. You can call 412-681-8755. If you'd like to make an appointment, or you can just show up at 810 Belafonte Street, I'd love to see you there. Uh, and you can get anything from a mini reading, 15 minutes, to all the way to an hour. I will also be available again for private consultations, as I am back in Pittsburgh. And I also work remotely. You can do also the private video reading through my website, readthestars.com. And there's an exciting event going on over the weekend, a couple of them. One of them is the Stars Gather, 
and uh, you can look that up under Sistars Gather on the internet, and then also go on Journey's website and find out about fire walking, which I'm going to be doing on Saturday night. That's going to be awesome. So I hope that you will enjoy your week no matter what it is that you do. And if you have any questions, comments, or you just want to say hi, you can always do that. Judy, J-U-D-I, at readthestars.com.